Hi everyone, welcome to the final edition of the weekly news for this academic year. As we all know, it's been a rather trying academic year and hopefully it will be the last one where we have any sort of lasting COVID disruption and we can really get on with moving forward from here. Um, some important bits of news this week, even though it's in the last week of school term, often it seems busier than any other time. Uh, of the year. First bit of news is, <coughs> excuse me, first bit of news is that the Knowledge Handbook uh, came out alongside the weekly news this week and in there is everything you could need to know about the school, the September, the systems, the classes, the organisation, reminders about uniform, everything you would want to know is in there, the extracurricular offer, the reward systems, the attendance, the opening times, it's all in there for you. Take a look at it. We've sent you a copy. Uh, you can have a paper copy upon request if you contact us at school. Um, it'll be on the website. I'm going to put it on the next 24 hours or so. Uh, it's everywhere. So please download, get yourself a copy, have a read of it. It tells you everything you need to know about the school for the forthcoming year. It also has on there the dates uh, for next year, the holidays. The dates have been uh, on the website for some time but it gives you a paper copy of those as well. So have a good look through that, it is an important letter. Uh, it mentions in there, and it mentions on the weekly news about the end of the staggered opening times. Uh, the government announced uh, when they uh, talked about school plans uh, for September that staggered starts and finishes could now uh, cease. So we'll be returning to an 8.45 school doors opening and registration will run through to nine o'clock, so there's a 15 minute space there for children to come in. Please make sure you don't come at five minutes past nine. We do start at nine o'clock, so we're back to the usual 15 minute opening. And at the end of the day, uh, it will be more like the traditional that we had before. Five past three early years will, will go out, be collected. 10 past three, year one and two. And then, as has traditionally been the case at 3.15, everybody else will come out. So it will return to what we would call the norm. Now, one thing that will remain is the collection spaces where we ask families to stand. COVID systems or not, that's, that's a really useful system that came in during COVID uh, bubble uh, restrictions. It means that we've got a very good sight line to see where parents are. It keeps pathways clear. We haven't got a mass gathering of people. It really helps us to organise who's where and for us to detect where the parents are and the access points stay clear as well. So we'll be continuing with those general collection areas. We think they work particularly well. The only difference will be is that we'll have an additional year six collection area uh, and year three will just move across slightly. But other than that, it will remain very much as it does. Uh, other important news, the tracksuit days as part of the uniform changes, they're all announced on the weekly news, they're in the knowledge handbook uh, we've tried to make it so the tracksuit days are two consecutive school days uh, and also the, the more traditional uniform are consecutive days. So, for example, uh, in early years, uh, we've done it so that Wednesday and Thursday are tracksuit days and then you've got Friday, Monday, Tuesday in terms of school days that are the formal uniform, so we've bunched them together. Uh, year one and two have Friday and Monday as tracksuit days and then the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday as the formal uniform day, year three and four. Uh, their formal uniform days are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and the tracksuit days are Thursday and Friday. Uh, and year five and six, tracksuit days are Monday and Tuesday, and formal uniform is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And that's all written down for you uh, in the handbook and on the weekly news, and we'll continue to broadcast that uh, consistently. It would be nice if across school we could have everybody having the same tracksuit days. Uh, but unfortunately, we haven't got the indoor PE space to do that. We, we just haven't, we can't do that. So we are having to stagger it, obviously, across year groups. That was never going to be on the agenda that the whole school could wear a tracksuit across school on the same two days, because we haven't got the space inside for that. And as winter approaches, we need that indoor space. Uh, but we think we've made it as clear uh, as possible. Uh, so have a look at that, and you'll get into a routine, I'm sure, as time goes on. But we have given some careful thought as to how we do it. Uh, so, um, important points there. The uniform shop 
in town will now be open throughout the summer. The contact details are put in a number of places. So it's all on there about the website, the email, where the shop is in town. That will continue. You can redeem your vouchers. You can get your tracksuits there. And then we'll be announcing it in September about the shop returning to school. Won't be as frequently as it's been, but there will be a shop uh, in school. And we're talking with Top Mark about how that will look and where that will be on a regular basis through school for continued uniform orders uh, from here on and for other items that we'll, we'll be bringing in as well that you might want to take a look at. Um, so those are the main bits and pieces really. Um, big reminder that obviously today finishes at 1.30, the traditional end of term finish time and we start back on Thursday the 2nd of September, doors open at 8 45 so it's all as it would normally be uh, in September it's Thursday the 2nd of September for a short two-day week uh, when we come back so that's kind of it really there's lots happening we've got new signs outside which I'll talk to you about in September that's a good time to do that as we evolve and move things on but it just sort of remains for me to say thank you for your continued support I'd like to thank the teachers fabulous dedicated um, Bunch of, bunch of teachers, in fact, to be honest with you, I've got a fabulous, fabulous, fabulous staff from site manager through to my year six teacher, through to my year two teacher, through to my teaching assistant team, through to my admin team, everybody is superb and they have worked really, really, really hard and I commend each and every one of my staff to you really highly. Uh, it's been a difficult year, I think, I think schools don't often get the credit they deserve nationally, uh, but I want to commend them very highly to you uh, for, for the work that they've done. So thank you to my staff. The children are fabulous. The children are always fabulous. They're ace. They smile, they're happy, they try, they work hard, they want to be here. They're a delight to have in school. So thank you to our children and thank you to our governors and to our families who have been supportive, been there for us and helped us through uh, what has been a really tough year. So thank you to each and every one of you that are listening to the message, particularly those that are listening to the message. There's also your ones that have been really, really, really following the narrative of school uh, during these difficult times. So thank you to all. I hope you have a safe summer uh, and we will see you again in September. And hopefully, wherever the COVID situation is, we have a clear path for schools and for children to, uh, children to learn uh, in the 12 months ahead. Stay safe, take care, and I'll see you on the other side of what will probably seem like a very short summer break.